What's up guys? So the maintenance for NA has been completed and now the compensation is available for both NA and EU. But today we uh, want to talk about something different, something cool, something way that, you know, the why people are building submarines. Uh, and it's a highlight of this guy's video here because I don't have all the materials to build and make submarines and this guy did an amazing job. So Darth Chocolates has this great video called Arc Age Unchained, how to do sunken ships basic tutorial. Uh, we'll let this play in the background as I explain kind of like what's going on. Um, he's not going to be talking because it is muted. But the gist of this is that sunken trips are amazing gold makers. They are high risk, but they are high reward. They are worth approximately around 20 silver per labor point spent. You do need a ton of materials to actually do the sunken ships. So first off, you need a submarine. And then you need all the components for the submarine. Let me show you those. So there's four different submarines. There's Ruby, Lapis, Platinum, and Chrome. They're all incredibly expensive, as you can see here. The first three are roughly exactly the same, just with the kind of color variation of the flower that you use. Lily, Lavender, Rose, and then the design. The last one here you actually get from using recovery pouches on sunken treasure in the ocean. You need, I believe it's 200 to make this design. And then use silver ingots. And then the other mats are exactly the same. The most expensive point of this craft is the wax nugget, which requires two royal jellies. That's why you see royal jellies selling for insane prices on your server uh, you know upward of like 500 gold on certain servers these come from beehives which are very very low drop rate essentially they're thunderstruck trees on beehives and beehives you can only really harvest every three to four days and they cost a ton of labor so it's very labor intense it's very um land intense because beehives are a big big footprint so overall on average here, you can see a buoyancy controller requires person toolbox. On average here, I would say that these submarines probably cost about 5,000 gold. So you can see there's a big investment there just in the submarine. And once you do that, you're not done yet. Buoyancy controller actually requires 20,000 machining, which it's very hard to get 20,000 machining, but you can use the blue salt scroll that you get. It's a one-time use for 30 minutes. Um, and maybe someone has that on your server or a friend that you know you can do that. It gives you 50,000 proficiency. Otherwise, you're going to be paying a machinist for their crafting expertise. That's going to cost you, you know, I sell that for about 50 gold on my server. Then, so once you craft those, then you need the components. You need to activate sonar on your submarine so that's going to give you a skill that will allow you to find the sunken treasures uh you also need to grab the burst cannon and the air cannon i'm not 100 percent certain if you need the burst cannon but might as well and all these machinings all these crafts cost 20,000 machinings so if you're going to find a crafter you're going to want to craft you know everything up once get those out of the way they all require precision toolboxes dp color oil and a good chunk of mats. Five emeralds. So overall, you're looking at probably close to another 1500 gold to equip your submarine once you've purchased it. So right now you're looking at like 6500 gold to get the submarine. But that's not the only things that you need. You actually still need a merchant ship or you need a lot of players. So, merchant ship, he's got it set up here. Let's go back a little bit. He's got it set up for 14 packs, and that's what you need, because you get 16 packs per sunken ship, and so he has an alt and him, and he has 14 packs, so 16. So essentially you need about like 12 people if you want to do this without a merchant ship, but a merchant ship is going to cost you a good amount of gold as well. 
I don't know the prices on the merchant ship and I'm not too familiar with that. So we're just going to leave it at say merchant ship is very, very expensive. It's not 100% required. You can do it one or two packs at a time, but you need to get all of these packs. When you raise up the sunken ship, it's going to cost you approximately around 1700 labor to raise up and gather all these packs, all 16 of the packs. That will get cheaper as you get higher proficiency, and you really want to have 100,000 exploration proficiency so you can take the shiny packs. The shiny packs are worth the most money. Once you have 100,000 proficiency, it brings that labor cost a little bit down, and you make, like I said, about 20 silver per labor point, but a lot of investment in this. You can also get pirated fairly easily on a heavily populated server. All the labor cost is spent by opening up these packs and then raising the sunken ship. You need recovery pouches also to raise the sunken ship. Once you have risen the sunken ship, you now need to transport it. So hence, put them in your merchant. And you don't require any labor to turn in. So this is incredibly profitable for pirates to go out in the ocean and steal players that are harvesting sunken ships. It also makes an alert when a sunken ship has been risen. There's a global alert that will pop up in the middle of the screen that will say so-and-so has risen a sunken ship. And there's only a few places that you're going to turn in these sunken ships. You're definitely not going to see people turn them in to Solace or uh, Two Crowns because it's too contested, too heavily contested. So the places that they're potentially going to turn these into are going to be Diamond Shores, which is probably going to be the one place that most players will turn them in. Or Friedrich Island. Growlgate if you're a pirate. So for a more in-depth look, please take a look at this video. Please subscribe to his channel. Please like the video. He did an amazing job on this. He's also going to do a video, he said, about pirating the sunken ship hunters, which that's going to be even more profitable. It doesn't cost you any labor whatsoever. It's purely a PvP activity of attacking and stealing other people's ships taking their packs, and then just getting free gold. This is by far the best pirating method in the game to earn gold. So get out there with your guild, your friends, and go pirate the people that are taking the sunken ships. All right, guys, I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. And like again, go check out Darth Chocolates. He also streams. Go check out his Twitch. It's all on his video here.